Hello, my LinkedIn family. How are you doing today? You know, there's been some news just recently about uh, relaxing some of the lockdowns because of coronavirus. And I think that's raising people's expectations of how things can change over the next few days, weeks and months. And it's got me thinking, is that really setting us up to succeed? Because coronavirus is going to be around for a while and I think we would be better off thinking, how can we increase our resilience? How can we make sure that we can get through the next weeks and months sane, safe, healthy, and maybe even a little bit happier? So one of the things that I know really works for me when I need to build my resilience is to concentrate on being my own best friend. Really, yes, my own best friend. Because we are always listening to ourselves. And if we aren't compassionate towards ourselves, then it really affects our resilience. It wears us down. Our own self-criticism is not a good thing. And if it is nagging and always there in the background, it's not gonna help us. So what can we do about that? Be your own best friend, be self-compassionate. It will build your resilience. When we're kind to ourselves, we're all more able to keep going during the tough times. And if you don't believe me, there is research behind my words to prove this. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the comments below to some resources a wonderful website and a test that you can do for free to see how self-compassionate you are. And if you'd like to fit this into the overall picture around how can you continue to build your resilience and to stay strong, mentally agile and productive during this time of coronavirus, then revisit my gong exercise. I'll put that in the link below as well. All of this for you so that we can be stronger together. Until next time, stay safe.